Hey guys, welcome back. Today I am caking a Space Jam cake. So this is a five inch round. That's about five inches tall. This is the top tier of my cake and I am crumb coating it as usual. The bottom tier was a seven inch round and about maybe four and a half inches tall. And I'm crumb coating that as usual. On to my final coat, I decided to do an ombre buttercream for the top and bottom tiers with the colors of the Toon Squad. So light blue, uh, orange, and white. I'm bringing in the heavy artillery, AKA the edible images that I had printed at my local cake supply store. Um, I got these images off of Etsy. So I will leave the link to the Etsy shop that I um, got these from in the description box, along with my other cake tools and supplies. So I like to attach my edible images with um, vegetable shortening. Crisco, if you will, just so that if I do need to move it around, it won't get stuck. If you use piping gel, which is also suitable, if you do need to move the image, you can't pick it up, it'll tear. This little guy who wanted this Space Jam cake was turning four. We had to have the number four on the cake. Look at that, so cute. So I sketched out uh, the birthday boy's name onto some parchment paper and I am just outlining it on my fondant so I can cut out my letters with an X-Acto knife. So I'm interested, have you seen Space Jam A New Legacy? And if you have seen it, did you enjoy it? Comment below. I saw it, watched it with my son. He loved it, I loved it. I thought it was a good movie, so let me know. What are your feelings on it? You like the old one better? The new one better? Or did you appreciate both of them in different ways? Like I did. This is me adding a bit of texture to my fondant with some shelf liner. Um, it did, yeah, it could have been better, but it worked um, for what I needed it for. And this is a styrofoam ball that I got from the craft store. It was about maybe four and a half inches. I cut a bit off of the bottom so it would lay flat against my cake because this is the topper. And I covered the ball with some fondant and I'm smoothing out the creases, just buffing them out with my hand. Now here we go, I'm adding the um, lines of the basketball with a Dresden tool. Um, I'm just eyeballing a basketball. It doesn't have to be perfect. 
And into those grooves that I created, I added some uh, little snakies of black fondant and pressed them flat with my fingers and a balling tool. On to the stacking of this cake. I get this question a lot. Why do you add straws to your cake? What are they for? The straws are for support. So cake is soft. You wanna chew on it and it to be soft and moist. Well, if you keep stacking it, it will fall and collapse onto each other. So you have to have something to support the weight especially if you are tearing cakes. So the straws are for support because I'm going to slide that top tier onto the bottom tier and we do not want it to sink in. So there you go. And I also get questions on how I cover my cake board. So I don't like being wasteful with fondant. Um, I cut out a long strip rather than covering my board with one big piece. Saves fondant and money. This is me spraying the cake with water. Um, the cake had been in the refrigerator, so the buttercream had crusted over, which is typically what you want. But since I was sticking edible images to my cake, I needed, uh, I needed it to stick, basically. <laughs> so I sprayed it with water before I attached my images. If you are Team Toon Squad like I am and you like this cake, go ahead and hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. I drop a new cake video every Wednesday to the people who have been rocking with me every Wednesday. I so appreciate you to all the newcomers. Hello from China B and I will see you guys next week. Bye.